Yeah, Malia's a heck of a player. I, I've been watching Malia since she was like a freshman in high school. So obviously recruited her really hard, um, didn't get her, and, and now I get to coach her. So so that's pretty cool. Um, she's been amazing, you know, with the transition. She's been an unbelievable leader. She's been so consistent every single day in practice. Um, you know, and when it's a close game and it's tight like that, you need players like her on the floor uh, to steady stuff and um, to do it on both ends of the floor. So I'm really, really happy for her. That's a huge accomplishment. Um, and yeah, she's, she's, she's a great player. Yeah, after two games, what's the biggest game improvement for you guys have? I think rebounding. You know, I think they got some, some late uh, offensive rebounds there that, that late in the game we really need to secure. Um, you know, do I want a close game? No, but I think this is really good for our team uh, because you can try to simulate this stuff in practice, but uh, for us it, to be here on the big stage under the lights, um, and get a, get a win and learn from it. You know, we'll go back and we'll watch the film and, and we'll learn a lot from from this victory. Um, and I would much rather learn from a victory than a loss. You guys kind of short of a three point line. Just what did you see from that today? We did. You know, we're a great sh three point shooting team, and we're going to continue to shoot the three. Um, you know, St. Bonaventure is a really good defensive team, and that's what they give up. Um, you know, they they he they help a lot uh, from the strong side. Uh, they jam and under, you know, we don't see that a whole lot. So uh, we knew going into the game that was going to be open. Um, it was going to be very hard to establish a, a post game because they crowd and they dig uh, a lot. Um, so I told them, you know, let it fly um, and we'll continue to let it fly. You know, we got great shooters on our team and, and uh, you know, I know some of those will go down. You know, half full, obviously, she had the hot hands for, for Bonaventure early. She mm -hmm. was 17 in the first half, finished with 24. I mean, how, how did you guys have kind of have She was cooking, and she's a really good player. She she struggled a little bit in their first game, so we knew coming in, you know, she was she was going to be looking for hers, and um, you know, I think she she can she can do it all, you know. Obviously, she's got a really quick trigger from the three, you know. We told him at half, I don't want threes, and and I know she got a couple off in the second half. You know, I wanted to make it tough for her, make her put her on the floor and throw um, and, and score over our size. I think we did a better job in the second half with her, um, but still sometimes, you know, we had some defensive miscues that we really need to clean up. You know, Abby, first two games, she's had double digit rebounds. Yeah. So, you know, you know, exclusively now in that number four position, you know, how, uh, like how important is that for her to continue to kind of rebound the way she has so far? It's hard to take Abby Liber off the floor. Um, you know, I know 11 rebounds, you know, jump off the stat sheet, but she does so many other things out there for us. You know, she obviously takes the ball out very quickly for us. She runs the floor. Um, you know, she's becoming a, a much better defender um, and understanding some of our concepts too. I uh, was really happy that she, that she hit that three. That was a big play that we ran for her. Um, I have a lot of confidence in Abby, you know, and she does, she does all the little things for us. Just looking at Bella, I mean, she comes in a couple minutes in the game. Mm -hmm. She had a great start, hit, hit a big three, and then at the end with a, you know, still just what do you see from her today? Bella's, again, very similar to Abby. You know, she, she's come in. I think her confidence is continuing to grow. Um, she's learning a lot at the point guard position. Um, this system is really, really good for her coming off ball screens. That was a, another big shot in a big crucial time that she hit. Um, you know, and her defense continues to, to get much better. So uh, very, very happy with, with how she's, she's progressing as well. You know, Danielle, obviously, you know, went down in the first half. What's kind of her status right now? Yeah, I, I haven't, you know, gotten any word on, on Danny. So uh, we'll, we'll hear hopefully something soon. But, uh, you know, hopefully we'll hear something. Was it an angle? I have no idea. Has the pace of play has really been a big key in Memphis yeah. season. Yeah, and I think we pushed today, especially early, you know, and then I think we got a little tight late. And that, that was a little bit of me, you know, I, I was controlling a little bit more of the fourth quarter and wanted the ball to get and get to certain people. So uh, we'll continue to learn that with a lead, how we want to play with some pace and slow it down, you know, when we need to. But, um, you know, I was happy. I thought we pushed through some of those long stretches, especially in the first half. I thought Bonaventure got a little tired and we continued to push and push. So again, I credit our summer conditioning and how hard that was for, for our team. Uh, but I think they're reaping the benefits of, of it right now. Kind of touched on it there, but there were some sw swings in the game. What was it like to see your team kind of respond? I mean, never trailed in this game, even though it got tied a couple times. 
Yeah, I I think that's big for a young team to hold on to a lead, you know, especially a Bonaventure. They got a lot of seniors, juniors, a lot of experienced players on, on that floor. And we're a bunch of young pups out there uh, that are learning each other. And so uh, very proud of them, you know, for, for keeping the lead, for holding on. You know, I think Malia's uh, three that she hit was huge. Obviously, we mentioned Bella's shot um, and then we got Jewel to the free throw line. So um, I thought we executed pretty well down the stretch. Hands down, our locker room. Like the passion, the excitement that they have for each other. Um, you know, Erica King came in, gave us huge minutes off the bench, you know, with Danny going down. And, um, you know, she had a huge bucket, had some great defensive stops there. And that's a freshman. And then here you see her teammates continuing to cheer her on. And you see Jewel Watkins on the bench cheering for her. So our locker room is so connected right now. Um, and I credit upper, our upperclassmen, but honestly, our whole team.